What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are currently in the middle of the second trial still. We have just proven, well, almost proven, that the third party was indeed there, is the killer, and it was Ten Mataro. Hmm. Superstitions, you say? What kind of a fool would actually believe such rubbish? And would that, would that, ugh, and would that using some silly fairy tale so easily expose the culprit? You'll need to come up with a more rational common sense explanation than that. Objection! Your common sense seems awfully narrow-minded to me, Prosecutor Blackwell. Objection! Objection. Try living in my world of narrow cells, mortal danger, and dark, sleepless nights. There's no lack of superstitions in the clink, but few are the few are those who truly believe in them. Objection! Well, the village superstitions are real enough to the people of the Nine Tails Vale. A life or death superstition might make even you a believer. I thought I was gonna break him. Grrr. Meow. He's having a heart attack. Apollo! Yeah, you, you demon. Order, I say. You fool of a tanuki. Two times now, your lies have cost me. Sorry, sorry, I promise not to do it again. Shut up, I hate you, Filch. Oh, look at that, look at that grin. It makes me sick. Taka, my fine feathered friend. Kill him! <laughs> yes, rip him apart! Yes! That's right, he's dead. Goodbye. Ah, he took off. Seize him! Bailiff! What are you waiting for? After him! And with your fastest men! On your fastest steed! Show them the true meaning of speed. That's certainly not something you see every day. Hmm. Where the hell did he go? Well, it would seem a new and important fact has come to light. A third party disguised as the Yokai Tenmataro was at the scene. And now we have two witnesses who can attest to that fact. Any objections, Prosecutor Blackwell? Come on, dude. Dude, you're wasting our time. Oh, he broke it! Back to jail. You're going back to jail, buddy. Breaking chains. Wah! Oh! His shackles! Ooh. <laughs> this guy's such a badass. I'm too young to die. This is this music too. Justice don't know. Long has it been since I've been forced to draw my blade. You had best say your prayers. Seriously? They let him hold his ee! They let him hold his sword? This is a cool perspective. To the duel. To the death. Detective, do something! Yeah, shoot him! Ha ha ha! Have no fear, Fulbright is here! When the going gets tough, the champion of justice gets going! Objection! Then get going already before he kills us! <gasps> oh, but I stand in awe of Simon Blackwell for his sense of justice that set him free! Objection, objection! I object to Detective Fulbright's definition of justice. No one's gonna seize him? What is this? Ooh, that's a new one. Who said that? Hmm. I'm not in the habit of cutting down unarmed cowards. Oh, well, in that case, Prosecutor Blackwill, can I ask you to, um, you know... I think the judge forgot he's in charge here. That was cool. Silence. So, Justice Dona's assertion is this. Ten Mataro is the real killer, not Mayor Tenma. According to him, there was a yokai at the scene of the crime. Right. And that yokai, or rather, whoever was impersonating him, killed Alderman QB. Silence. Ooh. Care to explain why Jinxie, being the first to discover the murder? Did not see your alleged killer yokai there in the fox chamber? What? He's right, she said nothing about Tenmataro being in the fox chamber. 
Hmm. Let me enlighten you. That little scamp heard a dying scream right before she opened the chamber door. And your point is? Upon opening the door, she found a freshly skewed murder victim, the Alderman. And the homicidal maniac who had killed him, the Mayor. No, there must have been someone dressed up as, like, Tem- ah! Then why does that little scamp claim not to have seen a yokai in the Fox Chamber? Hmm, considering her father is accused of murder. Surely she would have mentioned any third party that might have been in the room. I don't understand. Why didn't she see Tenmataro inside the Fox Chamber? Huh, <laughs> there is but one way to find out. Ask Jinxie Tenma whether she saw your killer yokai at the scene of the crime. But wait, wouldn't she, wouldn't she not say anything because of the whole superstition thing? I don't understand. Uh-oh. The final battle draws nigh. Only one of us will leave here alive. Heh heh heh. Long as my blade thirsted for blood, at long last it shall be sated. Wait, this is still a trial, right? Show me what you're truly capable of. Justice, Dono. Ah! <laughs> that bird is so adorable. Very well then, both parties no doubt need some time to regroup. So the court will take a ten minute recess in order to... Three minutes. I'm sorry, but a three minute recess. Just so, plenty of time if your destination of intent is the loo. The loo? You mean the bathroom? Sheesh. At least include enough time to wash our hands. See that you take no more than three minutes. All latecomers will be punished. By death! <laughs> yes, sir, I hereby declare a three minute recess before the battle begins. What a cute bird. Makes you want to get a hawk. I declare, Prosecutor Blackwell, the, or a falcon. It's a falcon, right? Yeah. Y yeah. I declare Prosecutor Blackwell the winner of this round of Simon Says. Doesn't bode well for us if the prosecutor is running the show, does it? Alright, who are we going to talk to? April 18th, 10.40 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. He busted out his shackles. Yeah, what was that all about? Guess they don't make shackles like they used to. Better be careful, Apollo. You've really brought out the samurai in him. Especially after you proved there was a Tematara impersonator at the manor. What's with that guy, the whole samurai act, anyway? Such fine swordsmanship. That is no mere act. Mr. Justice, it's high time I challenge this jailhouse prosecutor to a duel. No, wait, let's save the dueling until after we prove your innocence. Hmm, I suppose it could wait till later. Uh, does anyone remember we're conducting a trial here? Athena, gonna go wash up. Remember what Black Quill said, Apollo. Don't be late. Hope there's a cutscene for the bathroom. That'd be hilarious. Oh, or we're just gonna go back inside. What was the whole point of the recess? Ah. Alright. Oh yeah, three minutes passed, exactly three. Now then, I believe our next witness is Miss Jinxie Tenma, a maid at QB Manor. I believe we can proceed now, if the witness is ready, that is. Nurion? Leader of the 100 demons, he really does exist! Wow. That is one well-polished tray. The witness will show her face while in court, or her testimony will be inadmissible. Eeh! <laughs> what is it, my child? Be gone, leader of the 100 demons. Ho, ho, ho. You think I'm a yokai? Well, I was once known as a judicial monster of sorts. The beast of the bar. The demon of due process, if you will. Eeh! My charm has no effect. The demon of due process. Not sure I can see that one. Now, you little scamp. Yes? I trust you know why you're here. Bags? 
the hell does that mean? Bags? Oh, that tricksy tanuki. Try the noodle stand and go enjoy a big bowl of tanuki tail noodles while you're at it. What's he laughing about? I don't get the joke. Everyone's a comedian. No, I meant your bags. Oh, the ones under your eyes. You must have trouble sleeping. Here, this charm will keep Azuki Ari Arai away. Azu- that name? <laughs> the yokai that washes Azuki beans? The only thing needing washing will be your father's neck before I take his head clean off! Oh, that's- Oh, damn! Azuki often keeps people up at night with the noise he makes washing beans. What a weird legend. Is that real? I'm gonna look that up. But if you stick his charm on your forehead, you won't hear him anymore. Is that so? Well, thank you. Looks like Prosecutor Blackwell got more than he bargained for. They're bad enough alone, but together, those two are just plain creepy. Your testimony, if you please, Miss Tenma. Specifically, whether or not you saw Tenma Taro when you discovered the crime scene. I'm gonna drink some more fruit punch. Fruit punch! Ah. Did I see Ted Mataro in the fox chamber? Well, when I opened the door... <laughs> I saw... I saw... Yes, now I remember. Yokai! Yokai everywhere, right there in that room! That's the test <laughs> Two statements! I love it. Nice and simple. Con uh, con <laughs> I just said consinct. I was gonna combine the words succinct and concise and turn into consinct. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. So there was a yokai at the scene of the crime. Ooh, uh huh. Lots and lots of them. Oh, great. Wait, more than one yokai? Did Tematoro happen to be among them? I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is the room was swimming in yokai. Millions. Billions. Kasha, Nurukabi, Setitikatishi. Eww, they were all there. Well, this is an unexpected turn of events. Some sort of hodgepodge yokai orgy, apparently. We've gone from no yokai to a flood of them. This is ludicrous. Ludicrous. You would have this court listen to this delusional little scamp's testimony? <laughs> Ooh, Athena. About time you said something. Your honor, I believe her memory is simply clouded by fear. But a quick therapy session should ease her mind. With the court's permission, of course. What? Get out of here. What a fabulous idea. No, it's not. Please proceed, Miss Sykes. But seriously, the uh, the Mood Matrix music, also awesome. Especially the, what is it, the Allegro one? Uh, this like the faster tempo version. It's more exciting. You sure you know what you're doing, Athena? She's obviously not herself. The trauma of discovering that crime scene. And fear of testifying have her dazed and confused, a regular ball of confusion. But my analytical psychology-based approach should be able to help. Any objections, Prosecutor Blackwell? Shall we let Miss Sykes proceed? <laughs> it makes no difference to me. Do as you will, but I doubt we shall get any viable testimony. She'd better... She'd be better served by bearing witness to the sword skills I forged in a distant land. Hmm. I'll show you! Oh, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Gonna hack her brain! Her main brain. Her brain vein. What's all this? What's all this now? Did I see Tematoro in the fox chamber? Well, when I opened the door... <laughs> I saw... Yes! Now I remember! <laughs> Look at that! They're so adorable! Can I get dolls of these? Found something... Hmm, looks like an out of control emotion. Um, Athena, what exactly are we looking at here? Bum 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 Oh, this is one of Widget's functions. Right, here you can see images and emotions extracted from the witness's voice. Whoa! You mean that little thing can do all this? Pretty cool, huh? And here I thought it was just some kid's toy. 
dun 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 Unfortunately, all I'm getting is an overflow error right now. Rut row. See how sad is brightly lit there at the bottom left? She's under an uncontrollable amount of distress, which is making her emotions... Oh, sorry. It seems the sheer terror she experienced has made her a confused mess. So all those yokai she thinks she saw are a product of rampant emotions. Yes, that's right. Her fear has instilled in her hallucinations and false memories. She's seeing normal everyday objects as monsters in her mind. It's a form of schizophrenic hallucination brought by emotional trauma. And the trauma in Jinxie's case is fear. So she was, and still is, seeing ordinary objects as yokai. We'll have to find the root cause of her extreme fear before I can treat it. Now let's see. Apollo, can you point out the yokai on the Wheel of Fire? What? Oh, oh, okay. She seems particularly terrified of that one. Start by tapping Probe on the bottom screen. Next, point to what's causing Jinxie's out of control emotion. Finally, tap Probe again to try and get to the heart of the matter. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's see. Probe. Move it right up there. Cat monster on a wheel of fire. Got it! Jinxie, what's the name for that yokai on a wheel of fire? That's Akasha, a yokai that steals the bodies of the recently deceased. I bet it came to steal the aldermans. It's almost creepy how well that fits the actual situation. Exactly. It's a form of hallucination where the patient can't see things for what they are. There must be something at the scene of the crime that she's mistaking for Akasha. Apollo, you need to point out what she thought was a yokai on the wheel of fire. Hmm, I think I know the answer, meow. Jinxie, that wasn't Akasha you saw. Could you have possibly mistaken this for Akasha? Well, it, it's it's just this. It's this, right? Take that! At least there's no uh, punishment for getting it wrong. The light fixture. This one right here. It has a flame design and is up there on the ceiling. There was never a yokai on a wheel of fire. The Akasha you saw was just a light fixture. Info update. We have to do this for all of them? Interesting. That's one memory back to normal. Nice job. Now that you've got the hang of it, it should be a cinch to point out the rest. Jixie, what about this white wall-like monster? That's due, Kabi. It's a wall monster that blocks your way or leads you astray. No. That's no yokai, Jinxie. It's a folding screen. She can do that every time. And this raccoon dog isn't a tanuki monster. It's just the statue of one. And look! These are just coffee cups. And this right here? It's nothing more than a fox statue. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, 50%, we're almost there. You did it, Apollo! Her extreme fear is under control now. It was all just my eyes playing tricks on me. There weren't any yokai after all. See? A clear-cut statement. That's the power of my psychology and your intuition, Apollo. And just like we thought, there never really were any yokai in the fox chamber. Right. There never really were any yokai there. So, the defense is asserting the exact opposite of their original assertion. He's gonna do that stupid face again. Wait. Oh, this is different. Um, Jinxie, what about Tenmataro? There wasn't anyone there dressed up as Tenmataro, or any other yokai either. I remember it clearly now. You've gotta be joking! Order in the court! I think we just dug our own grave. 
And it's been 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, yep, they saw me. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is taking a lot of bullets. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. I do want to use my other gun. I'll get to that. For now, let's, let's conserve some of my ammo. I'm missing? There we go. One. There we go. Oh, you... you...